Welcome to the Nephilim Files. So uh, we're starting out the breakdown with um, this guy right here. Um, you can see his whole face, that's his mouth, and then we got under the nose there, both nostrils up in there, and then you know the bulge of that big nose, and both of his brows are there. Um, there's another one with him, and they're jamming their heads up next to each other to get a look in this hole, and probably because they understand how well that, uh, you know, kind of adds to the, the retransmission. They're very intelligent. And, uh, and just going over this, we can see multiple frames. Of, I mean, there's a couple hundred frames of this uh, huge individual. How big is he? He's, uh, he's approximately, he's somewhere between 17 and 20 feet tall. Now, this is the part that the community of people that concern themselves with you know, an interest in this subject. This is what they're all, uh, you know, this is the information that's being eliminated from them because the vast majority of people engaged with the subject are telling other people's stories. So in the end, we're only getting the stories that come forward and come out. Um, why is that? I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily know. Um, is it because people who run into these creatures don't come out? Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the case. Um, I do think that there's evidence, um, solid evidence, that if you go back to the very beginning of this, what you're going to see is we were shooting in lower resolutions. We had lower frequency devices, right? They were operating at lower frequencies. What, what is that really, though? Well, megahertz is frequency, right? And what we're finding out now, thanks to um, physics and you know the science of physics and, and um, you know people who... Uh, do experiments on this kind of thing is that frame rate is also associated with frequency, right? It's just another way to describe frequency. Your cameras operate a certain frequency. Every living creature operates at a certain frequency. What does that tell you about frame rate? If we're catching Sasquatch in 480 and it's super blurry and we go to 4K and we get more detail. The cameras are getting closer and closer to the same frequency as some of these creatures. That's what it tells us because they're able to see what most people are struggling with in the field. When they're standing there, they can't see them. The effect is too powerful. They're either too far away and the effect blends the creatures into the tree line or they're up real close and all they're seeing is this flashing optical illusion and it looks like a bunch of plants moving. The, the illusion on the creature's face looks like leaves moving across an open space. And then suddenly, the wind stops. Everything stops. And there's a one leaf above his head casting a green shadow. You're looking at it and you're seeing shadow, but somehow on the creature's face is bright green light. This is evidence that we don't see the colors in that light spectrum, that 99% that we don't see. The creatures are in and out of this apparent frequency that human beings can sometimes detect and sometimes can't. This is the way physics describes dimensions in the way most of the Bigfoot layman community would describe dimensions. So are dimensions real? Absolutely, we know this. Um, frequencies are controlling, and this is becoming more and more obvious, how much data we can see about these other realms. So let's just have a physical real world example. Well, when I take my cameras close to the creatures, the footage has a tendency to be predated to before the technology's existence. How's that possible? Well, there's some kind of a flux field going on here and the cameras are absolutely responding to it. In addition to that, we believe that the flux field in some instances around the really large creatures could be natural. But we also have evidence that there's technology producing these fields that will trigger your cameras to operate at a different frequency and produce error files. And that's exactly what's going on. Frequencies, it's rule 15 from the FCC. Frequencies must be allowed to be interfered with on all electronic devices manufactured and sold in the United States. It's that simple, right? They wouldn't have that rule here if frequency monsters weren't running around the woods. But that is the case, as we can plainly see. Frame rates and describing frame rates and frame rates are your reach 
into these other dimensions. High speed cameras pointing in the right directions at the right time will record things that you will not see with the naked eye. They do these experiments with high speed cameras in controlled environments most of the time. When they're outside, you can plainly see what's going on and if you want to see evidence that frame rate is controlling uh, the information that we get about our reality, go look at how frame rate can match the same speed as the prop on a plane. Where the plane's flying and someone's filming out the window with a frame rated camera that operates at the same frame rate as the prop, the prop does not spin. The plane is flying and nothing is happening. There's no prop spin. Or is there? Of course there is. The frame rates match the revolutions per second of the prop, but we can't see it moving. And it's crystal clear and no longer blurry. High-speed cameras. We need funding. <laughs>